Good, Good afternoon. afternoon. Welcome to the Must Live Yarn Podcast. It's Thursday. It's our normal podcast day. And it's already it's March. March 5th already. Mm-hmm. Hello, March. <laughs> uh, it's uh, Daylight Savings ends this weekend or begins or whatever. Yeah, we spring ahead. Spring ahead. Uh, so that will be fun um, as we lo- lose an hour of everything. <laughs> Yeah, the good news is, though, that we'll in the evenings, we have so much more light. Yes. That's the upside. It really is. And, we, you know, there's noticeable light now. I mean, yeah. you can get out of work, and there's still just enough light. To... Yeah. I'm not driving home in the dark. That's, yeah. Pitch dark. So, yes. that is the, the really nice thing. We've had some really good days. The last couple of days have been really lovely, too. Yes. Um, so this is a podcast about knitting and crocheting and spinning and fiber and the yarn weather. And, stuff and weather <laughs> and, you know, other random stuff, whatever Kaylee and I decided to talk about. And uh, we film at our yarn shop in Shelburne, Vermont, and we do film during business hours. So uh, you can hear you some can stuff, hear in the back. stuff in the background. Um, and this, you can find us and find the store out on all social media as Must Love Yarn. Um, come hang out with us on our Ravelry group. It's a fun place to be or follow us on Instagram. Mm-hmm. Um, those are the big ones where we are. And you are? I'm Angela. And I'm Kelly. And you can find me out on social media, Instagram and Ravelry as Junior Bird Kid. And you can find me on Instagram as Kelly O Spins and on Ravelry as Kelly Spins. Yep. And uh, we do have a uh, podcast and store mascots. What our, is it? It's sneaking in my pocket. M- uh, our mob of meerkats over here. Um, and they also have their own Instagram page. Um, <laughs> so we've got Gage. The first. The first. The original meerkat. And Swatch. And Stitch. And Stitch. And Mama and Baby. <laughs> they sh- who shall not be named. No, just kidding. <laughs> they are unnamed currently. We've gotten lots of good recommendations. Lots of good suggestions. To, you know, buckle down and decide. Just decide. That's been the challenge. There's so many good ones. Mm-hmm. I'm kind of leaning towards Crow and Shay to represent <laughs> the crochet. And because you want to start crocheting again. Yes, it's always fun. Must hilarity ensues when I crochet. <laughs> like the humpback cowl? Yes. Just like that. <laughs> yes, Angela. Oh, that's why that happened. There is a difference between double crochet and single crochet. And double half crochet. Who knew? <laughs> fun times. Yes, the humpback <laughs> it's fun good times angry stormtrooper mm-hmm. you can come learn um tunisian crochet this weekend although if you're doing your you're gonna sound like you're busy on saturday so yeah i would have to come with well no i would anyway yep nope yep no nope can't do it <laughs> can't do it on saturday yep, nope nope I was like, well, I'd have to bring my kids. And I was like, well, I can't really bring my kids because they're both then doing the Pinewood Derby. So, yeah. Uh, nope. I'm going to go do that. It'll be fun. It'll be fun. Uh, yep. Yeah. So, we like to start our podcast with our pick of the mm-hmm. week. And so, if you're new, the way this works is we like to showcase something. Lately, it's been yarn and lots of new yarn that's coming into the store for spring. Spring yarns. We've got a whole bunch that came in this past week, so we've got a whole lineup of yarns coming your way. Over the next month or so. Yeah. Um, And so we'll give you a coupon code, and if Kelly's on top of it, she maybe already came up with it. I don't know. I didn't, but I can, I'll, I've got one. We've been pretty good lately about doing coupon codes. We had a stretch there where it was uh, pretty ridiculous. Uh, <laughs> trying to come up with a coupon code. Um, so anyway, so you will get 10% off you know, our online store or in store for two weeks um, on the yarn that we're going to show today. Mm-hmm. So what do we got for our pick this week? So Kyle? 
you guys have seen the sister yarn to the yarn I'm going to show today. Well, you're going to see that the original yarn too, but um, this yarn is the painted lace degradé, and I'm actually wearing a shawl made out of it. Look, it still has the it has the tag on it because this is the shop sample, and I just put it on because I wasn't wearing any knitwear. So this is linked in show notes, so you can click on this and find the pattern. You can download the pattern off um, Knitting Fever KFI's website, uh, and it's also on the ball band of the yarn that we're going to show. Cool. So. This yarn, the yarn that you've seen before, is the KFI Painted Lace. And I hadn't put this one in as part of the pick of the week, too, but I will because we don't have tons of these colors left. These are last year's. So last year, what they did is, um, this is one of last year's, too, but they're they're more multicolor. There's little flecks in there, so when you knit it up, it looked a little more tweedy. Um, this is one of last year's, too. So you can see that there's a lot of color changing, except for this one. Um, there's a lot of colors changing within this like this is you know red to black to pink um, but the oh and here's another one it was just green and yellows and blues and purples here you go so those are all last year's colors and then this year what they decided to do is go more monochromatic so this is what this year's are looking like Ooh. yeah they're really fun ready yeah there they are <laughs> So, uh, six new colors, and they, um, the one I'm wearing is this one, which is color 203, Copacabana. Copacabana. Copa, Copacabana. Um, I really like this one, too, though. This, this is like orange to like hot pinky coral color. This one's 206 Cairo Sands in this case you're... green one's cool. And yeah. So is this blue lagoon. I love all of them. And actually, the only one that um, is does change color is this one because it's kind of like a grello. So it goes from really pale, almost white yellow to a really nice soft gray. So, That's nice too. Um, so there's some really fun options that they did. Um, I mean, this one does go from pink to orange but it is you know it's more of a, a color gradient whereas these are you know these are changing color a yeah. color maybe color progression I don't know anyway uh, so these are painted lace degradé the new ones for this year and let me give you all the details 874 yards lots of yardage they're 200 gram skeins and they're machine washable which is nice and uh, considered they have a number two on their label so like a sport weight yarn uh, you could knit for sure at a fingering weight it's really fine and it's multiple strands uh, that they that are kind of twisted plied together um, but it's kind of a loose a loose ply so um, yeah you can find the pattern that I'm wearing here, the triangular shawl, on the ball band if you buy one of these, or you can just download it because I have the link in there. So these retail for $30, and for the shawl, you just need one, uh, one skein. Awesome. For a t shirt and, or a tank top or something like that, you know, depending on Maybe the size two. and the, the um, you know, construction of the t shirt or something, you know, two to three and you'd have one mm -hmm. um so and you can you can play with you know with the color progression like where those colors are going to fall to which is kind of fun or so. you could start like here and then work to here and then when you pick up the second work start back. here and work mm -hmm. backwards so it would go yeah. yeah it would be fun be kind of cool yeah so you can do a lot with this besides just shawls mm -hmm. it'd be nice in a little um like a little cardigan or something to throw on for that oh, kind of like yeah. in between seasonal like stuff. Like uh, uh, what's that one that we did in it along? Featherweight. Featherweight. Mm -hmm. That one, or windswept, or there's a yeah number of them. Yeah, so it's a nice yarn. Um, I've worked with it some in the the regular painted lace. Mm -hmm. um, so I will add the painted lace, the original one, to the pick of the week as well. And then the degradé is the new one. And um, that is, those are all, those colors are in stock, the new colors. Nice. Which are really fun. So. So what if we do weekly pick 
painted. Sure. Because I don't have to spell degrade. Okay. And I'm sure you don't either. That, well, it's actually quite easy. I <laughs> and I was that's what I was going to pick, but that's fine. Weekly pick painted. Okay. Weekly pick painted. I think I'll leave this on for right now. I kind of like it. It, I like it. It's nice. And it's probably pretty lightweight, too. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Oh, 100% cotton. I don't know if I said that, but it's 100% cotton. So perfect for summer. Mm -hmm. Or if you can't wear wool or mm -hmm. whatnot. Mm -hmm. Or making it for somebody who can't wear wool. Exactly. Or live someplace where it's too warm to yeah. wear lots of wool. Yes, indeed. Because... It is almost too warm today for me to have this Felix on. <laughs> She's got it on, though. I do have it on. I put it on for the podcast. I actually <laughs> brought it with me. And as soon as we're done, it's coming off. It may come off before it's then. It's probably going to come off shortly because I'm <laughs> hot. <laughs> uh, but I finished it. Look, it's got ribbon. Ooh, pretty. Backer buttons. Backer buttons. You're so fancy. And I'm so fancy, I sewed my buttons on with white thread. <laughs> <laughs> we had a long conversation about this at the end. <laughs> so stay tuned for that. Uh, probably. Where I may or may not have recommended she take a permanent marker and color said white thread. <laughs> I may or may not be doing that. As opposed to removing six buttons and re-sewing them on. So stay tuned. <laughs> Because I'm pretty sure magic marker is going to be happening as a first step. I have like every I color a ton of, them too. of yeah. permanent marker known. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it wouldn't of take course. much. Like you just, just no, enough just to. dab it a little bit and. Yeah. Yep. Be done. It would be done. like some fingernail polish. Anyway. All right. So I will be shortly fixing that blender. <laughs> Clearly did not think through that one. Um, actually, I did a couple of buttons in. I was like, hmm. Yeah, I don't want to get up to go find more thread. <laughs> Sorry, I have like the perfect color really? of that thread. Of thread that would have worked. For blue? Well, no, it's actually, it's almost like oh, the, the, purple? the purple color. Um, just, okay, well, stay tuned to see how the Sharpie, okay. the, how the Sharpie works. I may text you and be like, I need that thread. Okay. <laughs> Because actually, for me, the sewing of the ribbon is like the harder thing. The buttons are like not. Well, and the other really thing you that... could do too, because those buttonholes are pretty, the 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 hole on the button are pretty big. Yeah. You could even just take a couple wraps oh, of the just, new color yeah. thread and, and just wrap, wrap over, over it. The top. Yeah. To like mute it down. Yeah. That's true. So you wouldn't even have to like snip out the That's old true. and. That's yeah. true also a good option mm -hmm. and if i'd already sharpied them then the white would already be duller so <laughs> stay tuned whatever will i do <laughs> it's like it's like choose your own adventure land around here with my knitting shenanigans so um so anyway so this all done and that's wearable. what she's wearing that's what i'm wearing it's the felix cardigan by amy christopher's um and it's warm it's made with mountain mohair, and it's like 55 degrees outside, so not quite the weather for this sweater. <laughs> <laughs> is this more featherweight weather? I know. The other day when I was running errands, I um, I just had on a sweater, and I was so comfortable. Mm -hmm. For I didn't have to put my big heavy coat on. And I was like, ah. This is, would be perfect for just going out to the car, so yeah. more as like a jacket right now. Um, as opposed to something to wear inside and I am done talking about this so I am taking it off I'm hot it's so it's ridiculous uh, totally ridiculous oops sorry okay uh, so what are you so, so what are you wearing I know you're wearing something fun wow. it's not a knit but it's still fun it is fun so I I already told you the, the shawl I'm wearing and it's linked in show notes so much better in the pick of a week. But I'm also wearing my Wing in a Prayer Farm Valley Black Nose t-shirt. Mm. So I linked to Tammy's Etsy shop. So her shop is on a break right now because she had a show this past weekend. She's got a show this coming weekend. So she just closed it down for this week because she knew she was going to be really busy. But you can usually get these in her Etsy shop. So cute. And this, I think, I'm pretty sure Danny, this is Danny, because Danny has the horns. Nice. So, so cute. 
Anyway, if you want one. So cute. They are cute. I know. I can't wait to see them. I'm going to see them in April. Nice. I know. Nice. Babies. Like? So, uh, I did not list that uh, Felix on the finished object list. Because oh. I may have already listed it previously. <laughs> I can't remember. But... Oh, yeah, we don't even have an FO thing on there. Because I didn't have any FO, so. No, and I didn't add that one in. I was like, that's fine. That's fine. What we're wearing and finish object for me. Hmm. So. Because um, I'm still deep in the middle of the Copenhagen cardigan. Doing fancy pockets and all. Doing fancy pockets. Um, let me just. I'm almost done with this row, and then I can hold this up. So I split for the sleeves. Uh, and then you knit oh, 13 centimeters. So it's a European designer, so everything's like in centimeters and stuff, which is fine. It's just my brain's not. I have to get the tape measure out a lot. Because, <laughs> uh, it's just not a unit of measurement that I'm used to working with. I know it's... That's what, like five inches or so? Yeah, it's a little roughly. over five inches, I think. Yep. Um, and then you do these great, cute little... Um, I guess set in pockets is the only way to describe them. Mm -hmm. Little pocket flaps. <laughs> yeah. And uh, it's a cool way of doing them. I've never done them that way before, but it's really neat. Andrew's showing me the yeah. I might construction on um, change my mind after I have to sew them up and <laughs> sort that out. But um, ah, you'll be good. I think it'll be fine. Uh, it makes so much more sense now that I realize that that's how they were constructed. I was like, I so. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. <laughs> okay. How is that going to work? Mm. Um, but so this is a uh, fingering and mohair held double sweater. Uh, and I'm using uh, some yarn I picked up at India Untangled this past year. So this is uh, La Bienemy, their mohair, and the yarn is from Earl Grey Fiber Company uh, and it's this really pretty green like this I know that this color is not coming through on the screen um, but it is it's really cool. really deep green with like tonal kind of shades and little pops of lighter green it's it's spectacular but it's not it is. These dark colors like blacks and dark greens and stuff and dark blues are really hard sometimes to pick up on camera. Yeah, it's really um, lovely. So, and it's fuzzy. And the underlying, um, the Earl Grey yarn has, I think, camel in it. Is it camel? I think so. Um, it's a Or yak. Yeah, it's one of those. I got the thing in here. Let me look. It's their gunpowder, gunpowder sock. Um, it is. I think it was yak. I think it's it? yak. Yep, merino yak nylon. Um, so that it's already pretty like soft and luscious, and then you add the mohair on top of it, and it's just like oh. <laughs> probably also going to be a super warm sweater. Uh, I guess I'm knitting super warm sweaters right now as we're headed into spring. <laughs> Go me. Now I just need to pick out like an Alphas Lopi sweater to knit, and I will have hit the trifecta. That's what I'm working on. Yeah. Well, not right at the moment, but mm -hmm. I'm just getting my brioche set up. Cool. Going right now for a hat. So, um, sorry, are you done? Oh, I, wait, you're going to well, show I was it. Gonna, yeah, I was trying to be really <laughs> long-winded and keep talking so I could get to the end of the Kay. row here. So I was trying to think of what else I could tell you guys <laughs> about this sweater <laughs> or something else. Um, to just finish. Probably, you're probably like, stop talking and just knit faster <laughs> so you can show us the sweater. Holy moly, lady. Um, it is really pretty. It's going to go with so much, too. Yeah. Because it's so dark. But I figured mm -hmm. it's almost black, but not quite. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it'll go with black things really lovely because it'll just be a little hint of color. Mm -hmm. I could probably wear it with my new burgundy shoes. There you go. Um, Yep. I can't wait. I know you're going to have to do like a little runway show for us when you get all your When I stuff. get my shoes. Mm -hmm. Wear my shoes next week. There you go. Well, I, yes. 
as soon as long as it's not snowing. Yeah. Yeah. Or icy out. But yes. Yes. Actually, I have a thing that I have to go to in April, so that's kind of what I bought those shoes for. Mm-hmm. So I probably won't show them off till after then. I'll save them. <laughs> okay. Debut them at the thing I have to go to. There you go. So, all right. So here we go. So with my little sleeves. And so these little things that are hanging <laughs> down right now are the pocketses. It's you know what it reminds me of? <laughs> like the cutoff shorts yes. that people cut off so short <laughs> that the pockets, pockets hang out the bottom. So my pockets are hanging out of my sweater right now. <laughs> I just That's so funny. Knit the little pocket. <laughs> But what's going to happen is um, we're just going to keep knitting and then this is going to, pocket's going to get covered um, up, I th- think. Did I do that wrong? Yeah, no. No, no. you're right. No, I'm right. Yeah, because you're going to keep on working. Yeah. Because so your keep, pockets are going to be here. Gonna be, it's going to be coming tuck down Tuck your hand way. in it. Your knitting yeah. is coming down. Yeah. See, you just haven't gone that see, far. See, again, it's that visualization <laughs> thing where I'm just like, oh, is that right? like, oh, no. <laughs> Look, it's backwards. <laughs> I don't know if that's even possible to have happen. But anyway, so I've got cut off jean pockets right now. <laughs> My sweater. <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs> so I guess I have to knit the sweater as long as pockets now. <laughs> At least. At least. <laughs> and don't put anything heavy in them if you knit your sweater just to the length of the book. They'll be non-functional pockets <laughs> just for decoration. Don't put anything in them. <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh, fun times. Oh, boy. Yeah. So... So we're having we're having a run of uh, really interesting titles here. So we're probably <laughs> going to end up with cut off jean pockets. <laughs> we're be like, what has happened to this podcast? <laughs> this is just uh, uh-huh. 1985 called. They want their jean shorts back. <laughs> yeah, except I've seen that a lot. It's coming. It's coming. You see back it a lot. In for some reason. Did I just do that right? I think I did. What you were gonna? Uh, so when we went to, oops, I need to have a yarn over with that. Uh, went to Vermont Sheep and Wool, not last year, the year before that. My husband went with me, and I went to say hi to the Green Mountain Spinnery ladies. Oh yes. And he saw a hat Kate had made. With their new ragtime yarn. Well, at the time. Bob's finally getting his hat. Yeah, he's finally. Well, I found the yarn the other day when I was doing some cleaning. Even better. I know, because I was like, I know that yarn is here. Where is it? And so this is their ragtime yarn, which is nice. That fun. Kind of does some stripey stuff, but as it's being marled around. So he saw Kate's hat and. He wanted the same exact colors, and I'm like, you don't want to pick out, like, your own colors or anything? He's like, nope, but those are the colors I like. I'm like, okay. okay. So I bought the, the yarn from them. So this is their ragtime. This is uh, weekend wool in the lichen colorway, and this is jelly roll. So the ragtime you can get on their website, weekend wool we stock. Mm-hmm. And it is the, uh, what is it, campside? Camp. Where is it? <laughs> Somewhere in here. Campsite Cap by Julie Hart. So, that's what I'm starting. I'm only, I'm just starting the brioche. I'm getting it set up right now. Look, there's like six stitches. Nice. So. I think it's amazing that you can podcast and brioche at the same time. It's just simple brioche. It's not, I'm not doing any, it's, and it's really just kind of like ribbed up until you do the the decreases yeah so there's nothing happening except for just plain brioche in the body of the hat which is good that's why I can do it while I'm podcasting otherwise if I had to do the increases and decreases or anything fancy like that I wouldn't but, Go on it. Go on it. but I get in the rhythm I can get in the rhythm of doing brioche pretty quickly nice which is nice. So I did work on one other thing that's not on the list. Um, I don't even think I have... Actually, I know I don't have a project page for it. 
because I just I just didn't. Uh, so I worked like a row, maybe. This is just indicative of what my life has been like. Oh, um, of tube the socks. tube sock. Cute. Um, I finally reorganized my needles so I would remember where the ribbing. So I stopped doing the ribbing on the bottom of the foot. Yeah. At a point, and just switched over to stockinette. Um, uh, I was asked for to do knee socks for. Uh, Clearly not William, but um, for <laughs> Abigail. They would be kind of little. I don't think he could get those on his feet now, could he? Probably not. He's so tall. Mm. But he's got little, I mean, not little feet, but like they're skinny. Yeah. And he's got little skinny legs, so. <laughs> um, uh, so the idea was I'm not putting any heel in these so she can get more wear out of them. Uh, and I have probably about another inch that I decided I was going to go. Uh, before I did the toe, and I'm going to do it in the black. And then I have a second one to knit. So these tr- travel with me sometimes, though I haven't really had that much opportunity lately to even pick them up mm. traveling. I think I might have. No, I didn't go to hockey this weekend. I don't know when I worked on them. I know I did at some point. And I think it was literally just long enough to like get the needles reorganized and then. <laughs> business meeting no i didn't knit at all at the business meeting Mm -hmm. nobody was really doing any knitting at the business meeting it was just weird (laughs) because we were like out of sorts because we were meeting at my house instead of (laughs) jen's house and our whole system and thing was disrupted so nobody was knitting jen was she was working on her her thing a little um, bit her dyke open okay her was that a, a it's a, like, like yeah like exactly kind of, yeah. yeah the one she modified from a sweater pattern yoke yeah. pattern um okay so she was doing a little knitting i have my knitting out there i just never anyway picked it up uh so it's just uh it's been a, just a lot of stuff going on yeah anyway. so those that's it i have been just a dedicated one project knitter i uh, I'm as stumped by it as all of you surely are. I have no idea what is happening. Well, um, I have some things I've been working on. Awesome. So take it away, Kel. So I am doing a Tunisian crochet class this weekend, and I think it's really fun. It's kind of like hybrid knitting and crocheting all at the same time. So this is Tunisian Simple Stitch. I've been getting swatches. I've got to block them. I will do that tonight. So that's Simple Stitch. Then there is Tunisian Knit Stitch, which looks just like knitting more that's or less. amazing. Except it's really thick. Look how thick this fabric is. Uh, and then there's Tunisian Pearl Stitch which is still in process, but you know, it's coming along. And there it is. And so I've been just kind of plugging away at those. Uh, my test knit night path sweater, you saw most of this. So I'm at the point of where I'm now waiting for the sleeves, but wait, wait. Are there sleeves? There's one sleeve. Ta-da. And there's an almost, oh, can I put here? Yeah. Almost second sleeve. So I have a little ways to go. But nice. almost second sleeve. Then I can join those. Then I can do the color work on the yoke. But isn't that fun? That is fun. So I picked two colors of green and then the gray. And. Then I haven't, so that's a test knit for Alicia Plummer. That's the night path, and that's going to be coming out, not sure, maybe end of March, I think. I don't know. I don't know if she has a release date or not yet for it. And then last time I was, showed you the Mm. um, worsted shorty socks. Mm -hmm. And so that class wrapped up, and... So I Kitchenered the toe because I showed everybody how to do the Kitchener stitch. Nice. So one is completely done. 
And then the other one I save to the point of doing the gusset, the pickup for the gusset, because that's another sticking point sometimes mm -hmm. for socks. So I showed everybody how to do that again, because uh, not everybody got to that point, but most people did. So this one is after that point, and I'm doing the decreases um, nice. at the gusset. And yeah. So that's where I'm at. Awesome. I don't think, have I done anything else? I haven't worked on my stowaway yet. I want to get the, my test knit done for Alicia first, uh, the night path, and then I'm going to go back to the stowaway. I'd like to have that done before I go hang out with Tammy in April so that I can wear it and show all the sheepies what their good hard work of producing fleece has done. Look, look at what you made. Look, I'm wearing you. I'm wearing you. <laughs> So, that's the plan. Also, Whether or not you also know, would make a good podcast title. <laughs> Look, I'm, I'm wearing, wearing you. you. <laughs> that sounds like some Silence of the Lambs <laughs> kind of thing. <laughs> we might get some weird hits on that one. <laughs> well, you know, more weird than we get already. <laughs> I think my problem right now is I have, I can't decide what else I want to knit. Like, nothing's mm -hmm. caught my eye enough yeah. to make me literally want to drop and divert and attention. And cast on everything and, or yeah. cast on the whatever it is that you see. Yeah. I think that's <laughs> part of what's happening right now. So, not really sure what the cure for that is. So, I'm just dealing with it by just knitting this one project. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah. It's it's really good for productivity to do that. Because uh, then you actually finish things. I know. As opposed to having bags and bags of half-finished projects sitting around your house. I know. Especially if, like, things are close to to being done. Yeah. I've had things where I'm like, why on earth did I put that away? And then I'll go and, like, finish it, and it'll take yeah. me, like, less than a week yeah. to finish whatever it was. <clears throat> I also pulled out my descent cardigan oh, yeah. again because I need to deal with that I need to make a decision about what I'm going to do with that mm -hmm. sweater I think I am leaning towards so I knit I follow the pattern directions which had you go up like three needle sizes for the color work and I know better I don't need to do that mm. and I should have just done what I normally did which is just completely ignore the pattern and just <laughs> not even go up a needle size for the color work so the a uh, yoke is way too big mm -hmm. and not in a flattering too big. Like sometimes it's okay, yeah. um, but this is not flattering. Uh, I kind of like the way the sweater looks and fits as a pullover mm -hmm. as opposed to it's supposed to be a steeped cardigan. So I think, and what's holding me up on this is I have to go reprint the pattern because I need to like look yeah. to see. But what I think I can do, it was a top down sweater. I think I can clip it at the end of the color work and take the sleeves off and retain the body and put these stitches back. Basically do knit it in the opposite direction. Yeah. So the way Kelly's knitting hers, but I have to kind of reverse engineer a couple of things. Mm -hmm. The color work charts are fine. You just have to flip them around and knit them the yeah. other direction. And where they call to do increases, you have to do decreases. So yeah. that's the only sort of tricky part. And uh, the knitting, but the only th other thing that's a knitting will be going the other direction. So it doesn't make a difference except for so. your stitch. You might be, your stitch count might be off by one. Okay. stitch but other than okay. that it's not going to make a difference okay so um so that's the current plan mm -hmm. and i and i would not do the steak stitches in the front on the for the front part in the color work so we just knit in around um without the steak stitches there's the steak stitches are down at the bottom ribbing but you're never gonna notice that or see it um so I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to turn it into a pullover. Yeah. And then re-knit that yoke in the opposite direction. Uh, I uh, can't even imagine what could possibly go wrong. Um, 
So we'll see. I really didn't want to have to rip the whole thing out and start no. again. You might as well save that. Name yeah. Because there's it's not yeah. like there's anything wrong and, with that. I mean, I just, I know I'm not going to wear it now. Yeah. So it's the, it's a beautiful knit that's just sitting there. Yeah. Um, because I won't wear it because it's too big. Yeah. And baggy and doesn't look very good. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to fix it so I can wear it. Yep. It's nice yarn. It's fiber stash yarn. It's beautiful. Yeah. Pretty color. So. Did you um, do Picky Husband mm-hmm. for years? Yeah. 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 Kind of a brighter that green. green. Yeah. But really nice green. Yeah. It's, it's a, like a lighter shade of this yeah. almost. We've actually got some of it in um, in the store. Yep. When Chrissy restocked us, she gave us some more. Yeah. Of it. So that's the... And, and then I went up to knit the sleeves. I think sleeves are going to be done. Right. I just attach everything and knit up. Yes. The fast part... On smaller needles. <laughs> right. Uh, so that's the current plan. I think that's a good plan. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I may, particularly now that we're going to have more light, that's something that I really need. I yes. have to do during the daylight because mm-hmm. I am I probably, I have to flip the sweater inside out and see where I have some ends woven in because there might be a point where I can really easily take it apart. Mm-hmm. If not, I'm going to have to clip it like you would for like afterthought. Yeah. Heel. And um, just pop the stitches out. And just pop the stitches out. Yeah. Luckily, uh, Christie's yarn's really good, so I can just pop the stitches and then pick them back up really easily. They'll stand up real nice for the me. The other thing you could do, too, is just take a fine, if you've got, like, a, a skinny circular needle, like a one, two, three. Oh, and slide it through. And just slide it through, like, a lifeline. Mm-hmm. And then you'll have all the stitches on that mm-hmm. needle mm-hmm. Um, and then you won't have to worry about the, any of them running mm-hmm. probably what I'm going to do is try to do it below the mm-hmm. the where the underarm joint is Yep. Um, so I'll have to knit up a little bit more for the underarm yep. I think thinking through this and then the sleep anyway yeah that's a good idea no, I'm not too worried about Christy's. Her yarn holds no, pretty good. No, just superwash sometimes has a can be a little slippery. Has more of a tendency to want to run down. Yeah, that's true. I probably have a needle that, like that laying around. That's a fixed circular. Actually, I know I do. Mm-hmm. That's a good idea. So anyway, I mean, you could just use scrap yarn and a and darning a needle. Darning too. needle. Yeah. Yeah. One or the other. Uh, so that's the upcoming project. But, again, it will net me a wearable sweater as opposed to a, well, that's really pretty, and I spent a lot of time on that, but yeah. I'm never going to wear it. Yeah. So. Yeah. Stay tuned. Yep. I think that's a good plan. And, you know, worst case, if it doesn't work, just all gets ripped out and repurposed. either repurposed or re uh, from the top down. So. Mm-hmm. But I'd really, 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 more than anything, want to savage those sleeves. Yeah. <laughs> the rest of it, I don't care. I read it the body all day well, long. Well, that's the, I mean, but, that's the, the easy yeah. thing is, you know, at the point of where the sleeves attach, you do the same exact thing. Just put those mm-hmm. stitches on and then yep. it's all bought. It's just a bottom up sweater yep. at that point. Yep. You know, you join it like you would. Absolutely. A bottom up sweater. So. Yep. Uh, it'll also give me a chance to fix the whatever mess up I did on the front um, mm. on the charts because my <laughs> it's off it doesn't it anyway so I can fix that too so there's a couple <laughs> of things that will get fixed um, so stay tuned stay tuned and then I can finally mark that sweater complete because it's been sitting in there for like <laughs> months at like 95% finished with like a ton of works in progress and a lot of them are things that just need to be photographed because they're actually done or have like a pom-pom sewed on or Mm. something silly Mm -hmm. that's not quite done yeah I know we all have stuff like that yeah exactly exactly uh, so, as I mentioned in uh, the outtake, pre-take outtakes, whatever they are, uh, 
The I, stunny, the funny bits at the end that funny, make you laugh. The funny bits at the end. That's also a good <laughs> podcast title. <laughs> funny bits at the end. Um, the retro long has not been closed yet because uh, I could not get my act together to close it and pull for prizes. So all of you are the winners in that regard <laughs> uh, because the thread is still open. So I will try to deal with that next week. You're all winners. You're all winners. Do you remember that from Seinfeld? Yes. <laughs> yes. And tomorrow we are starting a new along. Uh, I'm calling it the Scrap Along. Yes. Yay. Uh, and it's going to run till, as I said, approximately May 6th um, with a parens, you know me, and why it says approximately. Approximately. <laughs> At this point. It won't be sooner. Maybe I should change that and make it really legally. It's not sooner than. <laughs> no sooner than. May 6th. Um, that was my horse's birthday. May 6th. Mm-hmm. So here's the rules of the scrap along. Gotta use scraps. So what do you ask would qualify as scraps? <laughs> um, leftover yarn. Leftover fabric. We are not limiting this to knitting and crocheting. Mm -hmm. If you would like to make a scrap bag or a scrap uh, project bag or a scrap, I don't know, you could make a scrap dress or a scrap shirt or a scrap We're helping you with some spring cleaning. Use up your scraps. Scrap table runner. I don't know. As long as it's scraps. Are we going to come police this? Nope. (laughs) Nope. Because mine probably won't be scraps. (laughs) So I also opened up a category of are you repurposing yarn from one project to another? Mm -hmm. So if you're scrapping one project to knit a new project, you can join this along. Mm -hmm. The only caveat with that category is you must also post your scrapped project in the Froggit thread. Frog it. As proof that you actually frogged a project. I am also open to other suggestions. Because I can't think of everything. (laughs) But those are the ones that were either already suggested to me or have become clear would be appropriate. You can use whips. Because that's how we roll here. Whipses. Whipses are fine. Um, So if somebody gets their scrappy blanket done? Absolutely. Absolutely. Totally counts. Okay. Totally counts. There you go, guys. If you need an excuse to get your scrappy blanket done, we just gave it to you. Um, I pulled together some pattern suggestions. You do not have to use anything on this pattern. You don't even have to use a pattern. Mm. Freeform. You could freeform it. I put also both knit and crochet patterns. She did. I saw that and I was like, oh, somebody was doing some research. I was. Research. I can't wait to see what that does to my, you might be interested in. (laughs) (laughs) Um, And always have fun and come join us over on the Ravelry group for chatter and Mm -hmm. other fun things. So... I might actually open that advent calendar and bust out a crochet hook because some of these patterns were crocheted blanket thingies. Blanket thingies. Blanket thingies. (laughs) 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 So so come scrap along with us. It'll be fun. Okay. I... Probably won't make anything for a scrap along, but no, there's um, the uh, the V back T, which is on the list. I saw that one a while ago, and I was like, oh, that's intriguing. And it were coming into spring and summer, mm-hmm. so that would be a perfect thing to knit this time of year. Mm-hmm. Um, so go check that one out. Uh, actually, all of them are kind of cool. So we've got the scrapper cardi on there. Um, another one called well washed, which is a a cardigan pattern as well um, but there's so many other options so many options so 
have fun. You have fun. Um, don't forget to check out uh, the retreat if you're interested in that. Mm -hmm. uh, that's coming up at the beginning of June. Mm -hmm. Be super, we're super excited. Yep. And oh, that's what I need. That was the one thing on the list I didn't do. It's email the cater. So, all right, <laughs> got to do that. Um, anything else? What? Uh, still a couple couple seasons of Vermont boxes Almost left. Sold out. Yeah. So there are still some options there. Our next one's coming out in April. Mm hmm so that's gonna be fun. Mm -hmm. uh, what else? What else? What else? Upcoming events. Um, we've got a few classes still on the list that haven't started yet. Mm -hmm. So we've got that. Uh, Knit City Montreal that's is coming up. End of March. At the end of March. Um, and I will be in Montreal that weekend. I can't guarantee I'm going to show up at the marketplace, but I'm going to try. Uh, I'm going up for a family trip, so uh, so if you're in Montreal and you think you see me that weekend, you probably did. So <laughs> say hi, or just accost a stranger. It would be fun. <laughs> and let me know about it, because I want to hear it. how it goes. <laughs> um, <laughs> now I lost my complete train of thought. You're welcome. <laughs> you're so welcome. Um, we have local yarn shop days that was, coming up that was at the end of April. Yep. That's 25th, well. I think. Yep. And we always have some fun stuff going on in the store for that day. Yep. As well. And I think that's Worldwide all the... Knit and Public Days in June. June. Yep. And our retreats in June. Oh, we're yep. doing a marketplace again uh, for the retreat. Uh -huh. So if you're local or if you're not local, we had somebody drive up from a ways away to come mm -hmm. to the marketplace. Yep. We're doing that again. So that'll be the Saturday mm -hmm. of the retreat, Saturday which is afternoon. the 6th, June 6th. Yes. Uh, so that'll be going on. And yep. it's free entry this time because we don't yep. have to do a bus. Because there's lots of parking down at the location when it's not all covered in snow. Right. Uh, so, yeah, it's just free entry during um, yeah. the marketplace. You can come in and shop and see all the fun vendors that are going to be there. Yep. Uh, what else we got? Um, Lake Monsters. Oh, we're doing another Stitch and Pitch. We're going to do an August, August this time. August 8th, mm -hmm. which is a Saturday. Yep. So that'll be fun. So we got that going on, too. Yeah. So some fun stuff coming up. We're planning, summer. like, way ahead. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's totally not us. That's the Lake Monsters. <laughs> if it was up to us, it would be like July, and we'd be like, oh, we should probably go, like, do this <laughs> stitch and pitch thing. Yeah, well, you know. <laughs> yeah, they have to put all these things on yeah. their schedule and make sure that we get tickets. tickets. And... Yep. So we'll have, um, we'll have the block of tickets. We won't probably have them till early July um, yep. in hand. Uh, so... Uh, just you know mark your calendars and we'll let you know when we have the tickets yarn hauls happening again in july yep. yep so there'll be more details coming out in a few months a couple yep. months yep but that is so all kinds happening. of fun stuff going on i know so did you know that um vogue i just got my new vogue magazine knitting magazine and they're doing like overseas um like yarn fiber like trips like there's one there it's like through india it's like a two week oh really like, tour yeah oh wow like, well, that's interesting huh um that's neat they did they were, are doing one of um oh that other place lat uh where the latvia knitting is oh okay that place okay uh and there was one more that they had that sounded interesting of course they didn't have any prices in the magazine so you know like it's probably super expensive it probably is but you know but you know 14 14 days of yeah. whatever else is included um yeah so anyway that was we had some customers who just got back from a cruise that went down to antarctica Ooh. 
And it did, like, the whole up along South America, too. So I think it was, like, Argentina, Chile, Peru, kind Mm -hmm. of. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, it sounded fantastic. Mm Mm-hmm. The only cruise that has ever, like, really caught my eye is they'll do, like, the Alaskan ones. Mm -hmm. Um, But I don't think I want to go on a cruise right now. I'm not really a big fan of, like, dysentery and um, potentially falling overboard, so it's not. (laughs) Well, with all the cruise ships that have been having yeah. because of the coronavirus, yeah, having to be, yeah, quarantined, quarantined in, in port, port, yeah, yeah, gosh, that's Thanks. awful, yeah, yeah. Uh, thank you to the person who uh, informed me that it's not uh, a reverse power play; it's a kill shot. Somebody who knows hockey. I I knew it had a real name. I just didn't know what it was. So I made up my own. See, but you described it well enough so that... they knew exactly what I was talking about. Yep. I'm still going to call it the reverse power play. But that's just me. Because that makes more sense to you. (laughs) Because I'm contrary like that. Yes, you are. (laughs) But thank you. Um, I... (laughs) I do actually appreciate it. I might have shared that with my husband, and he gave me the, like, really? Yes, it's called The Kill Shot. And I was like, well, how would I know that? <laughs> I don't play hockey. I never watched hockey before I moved here. Like, I don't know hockey. I can't even explain to you what icing is. I know it's a thing. <laughs> I don't know why it gets called. I, you know, I don't know. I don't know the rules. It's just fun to watch people smash into each other. It's super fun. <laughs> like, it's... <laughs> I know. Mm-hmm. I'm fun. <laughs> Angela's the one like down there banging on the glass when they're beating each other to bits. I know, right? <laughs> Actually, I'm, I've turned into the grown up who is after my child for beating on the glass because ah, I'm not supposed to. Right. <laughs> so, yeah. But it is fun. Hockey's fun. Um. We are, like, just chitty-chatty left and right today. We're all over the map. All over the map. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But it's, it's fun times. Mm-hmm. I don't have anything else, though, so. I don't yeah. really either. Um, kind of winding down here. We should probably sign off instead of just sitting here should. saying we're going to and not actually <laughs> signing off. So, okay. I'm pretty sure we're set for next week. Yeah, I think so. Don't yeah, no, look at my schedule um, for the next couple of weeks just to make sure, but I think we're pretty good. So Cool. Uh, so until next time, keep on, keep on keeping on. <laughs> scrap along with us. Scrap along. Just scrap along. I feel like it's really zoomed in today, even though the tripod's further back. Hmm. I don't know. It is, because last time when I was watching us, it it was like um, widescreen. Because there was black all on top and yeah. all on the bottom. So, I, I don't know. I, I, and it recorded okay last time, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's been recording fine. I like this colorway. Um, I do too. New summer yawn. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. It's pretty. Mm-hmm. It's pretty. It's almost too hot for me to have this sweater on today. Mm. <laughs> but it has buttons. It does have buttons. So after I sewed the buttons on, I was like, maybe white yarn was not the appropriate <laughs> choice. You can always I can change, change that. that. You can always take a marker. <laughs> Just color it. Like, <laughs> That works for me. It works. It totally works. Because, <laughs> yeah, the white thread is... Yeah. I don't even know what color thread you would use. Brown? You purple? could use brown. You could use purple. I mean, if you wanted a little pop of, like, that blue color, could the blue. you could use that. It's kind yeah. of like a purpley, royally blue. Yeah. Well, she was part of the yeah. Of that yeah. Cool. So... It's done.
it unless I decide to change the thread on the on the buttons. Right. Low priority right now. Yeah. Low Permanent marker. Permanent marker will also work. <laughs> yeah, but you might never know. We have low thresholds around here for certain things. <laughs> So I won't lie, it took me a really long time to visualize how these pockets actually... <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at that. And then you sew the sides And then the you sides sew the again. sides oh. and kind of tack that down. That's kind of cool. I've not done a pocket that way. I've done other ones where you, you inset them afterwards. You leave a little... Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's no, cool. You, yeah. Huh. Yeah. Fancy. It is fancy. That's interesting. I love new design techniques like that. Yes. Though, like I said, it took me a little bit to wrap my head. I was like, what? Wait, mm. what? How does that? Mm -hmm. This is also part of the reason why I don't always necessarily read patterns all the way through <laughs> is that I don't do well visualizing. Mm -hmm. Like I have to be doing. I've gotten to the point finally where I've done enough patterns that I can read patterns and I can visualize what they're, but it took a long yeah. time to get there. If it's something new, I sometimes have a hard time. If I'm sitting and doing it, it's totally fine mm -hmm. as I'm reading it, but trying to like think through what it mm -hmm. mean. I mean, I was an engineering major for a hot second in college. <laughs> um, and it was very clear that it was not a profession that would work for me because <laughs> I literally cannot rotate stuff in my head like you need to be able to do mm -hmm. for that yeah and I just didn't enjoy it um, yeah. they were not my people <laughs> they weren't <laughs> but anyway um so so I taught that knitting class up in Windows oh yeah how did that go and it was it was fun it was yeah. a smaller group but um it was fun and it was uh two undergrad students and one or no, one undergrad student and two postgrads. Okay, cool. Um, and one of them was um, getting her PhD in mathematics. Ooh. Yeah, and she had knit before some, but um, but not enough so that she's like, I can't remember how to cast on, and you know, so yeah. she just needed a little push, but she picked it right back up, no problem. But it was kind of funny because I, I told her, I'm like, you know, if you ever think about designing patterns, I'm like some of the best pattern designers are mathematicians or engineers. Yep. And they're, they're just, and they do some really creative, cool patterns where there's some interesting construction techniques because yeah. they just, like you said, there's that visualization thing. Yeah, being able to like move yeah. stuff around and flip stuff around in your mind and yeah. see the construction. Yeah. Um, I just, I can't do it. Yeah, so they, they are. There's some really cool designers that have, have that in their yeah. their background. Now, you know, give me a set of statutes and rules, and I'm happy <laughs> to connect all the dots and, you know, geek out on it for you. Um, so, because that's kind of my jam. <laughs> but, you know, to each his own. Next time that I have the... The licensing agreement for something I'm just going to send it to Angela and be like make sure I'm not signing my life away have fun yep no nope, I will <laughs> yep. so much fun <laughs> it's a puzzle how does all of this fit together yeah it's a different type of puzzle yeah definitely so but whatever works for your brain that's right Yep. So uh, I just got notification that like three different packages got delivered at my house because mm. apparently I had a little spending problem this weekend. Oh boy. Uh, well, I already told you I bought one of those. Pur I bought the purple version. Of purple version. Orange pack. In my defense, she was donating money. I know. On that one. That's why I almost ended up with two because they're so pretty, and I was like, "Oh, but that one's for charity." <laughs> it was for charity, and it was purple. I know. And it was that style. I love that style of bag for I, knitting bag. And look at this. So look at how. What do you put in there? <laughs> <laughs> my sweater is in here. There's those worsted shorty socks are in here, and. There's the crochet. I'm, I'm teaching the Tunisian crochet class this weekend. 
and there's that's samples in there. In there. <laughs> that, dude, look that's, at how much. I mean, it's jam packed full. That, that's a ton. But it holds a ton. Yeah, that's a ton. Like it looks like this teeny little bag, and then yeah. I kept putting stuff in. It's like Mary yeah. Poppins bag. Yeah, it's fabulous. Yeah. So thanks, Chelsea, because and I'm really you make awesome products. Yeah. And I keep buying them because you keep posting them. Yes. So you know, keep posting them. <laughs> <laughs> she um, she commented on the last podcast about the scrap along. Yes, yeah. yes. We'll take your prize. No. <laughs> <laughs> she um, she sent me a picture of the yarns that she's using. <gasps> she did. Yes, oh. and they're so pretty. I I am so proud of myself. I already have a thread going on the Ravelry board for the scrap along. Ooh, look at you go. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Excellent. Um, of course. I have no explanation for why. Okay, so I started the thread and then I realized I forgot a bunch of stuff. So I went back in to edit my <laughs> post. And instead of letting me in to edit, it like duplicated the post. So now, so I had to delete the other one out. But now that one has a message in it that's like, you're maybe violating community guidelines for multiple posts that are exactly the same. And I was like, all right, really? I'm an admin in this group. <laughs> Aww. Anyway. Ravelry. Ravelry. I mean, I get it because some people spam. But yeah. um, I just thought it was funny because I was trying to edit the post and it duped the post. And stuff. <laughs> they, anyway. Yeah, they had some, I think, glitchy issues Glitchies. the other day. And it was probably the day. Anyway, so, but it's up there and I linked in a whole bunch of patterns that I have personally found that I think would nice. be awesome. Crochet patterns, too. I saw that you put crochet patterns on there. What a brilliant idea. What? Who are you? I'm thinking about crocheting. <laughs> oh, right. We had this conversation. We had this. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Kelly blacked it out. <laughs> That's right. Um, yeah, no, but I found some crochet patterns, so I put those on the list as well. There's tons more, guys. These are just the tip of the iceberg. And Jumping if, off points. Yeah, and in fact, a couple p- people that post out there have already made other suggestions um, for stuff. So it, I can't wait to see what folks do with this one. Oh, and I haven't locked the retro along. You're welcome, all the people that are almost done. We'll deal <laughs> with it next week. <laughs> you got the next week. Nice. To finish your stuff. Nice. I just couldn't get back together. I had to go to Woodstock this morning. And I oh, just, boy. Um, so, just, yeah. Anyway. At least you had good weather for today. traveling. Today. Yeah, it was nice. It was a little icy up at Kellington. But, was it? Um, yeah. This morning, but it was, it was fine. It was fine. It's supposed to get a little bit chillier tomorrow on Saturday, but then it's supposed to be right back in the 40s again. Well, the sap's running like crazy in my house yeah. right now. Yeah. So it's either going to be a really short season, because if it stays like this, it's just going to be over real quick. Yeah. Or it's going to get cold again and snow like two feet. Yeah. So well, it could go either way. I don't really want two feet of snow, but... I wouldn't mind a little bit more snow. Yeah. I don't really want another snow day, though, but I wouldn't mind yeah. a little bit more snow. It is melting like crazy at my house. Yeah, ours There's too. Still most of my yard is covered, but... Um, anywhere that we've shoveled or plowed, like mm-hmm. around that, it's just melting, right? It's like you can see it like receding mm-hmm. like a tide. All of the stuff that I packed up on our roof let go the other night. Oh. It just. Jeez. <laughs> yeah. But it's nice. The roof's finally clear. <laughs> yep. Spring in Vermont. And all the dirt roads are horrible. Oh, yeah. Yours wasn't bad on Sunday, though. No, you should see it now, though. Uh, I bet it's gross now. It's totally gross. My car, I w- washed my car on <laughs> Saturday. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why. Well, I you get do. some of the salt and stuff why. off. Yeah, to get the salt off. But now it's just look, it looks like I took my car mud bogging. Yep. So, yeah. We're coming up on mud season in Vermont. Yeah. Very exciting. We were driving down the dirt road. Abigail's like, why is the car going back and forth? I'm like, well, it's just the way it is right now. The washboards in mud. Ruts. Mud ruts. Yeah. Mud yeah. I was surprised your um, your road doesn't have too much washboarding going on. 
It was in pretty good shape. There was, like, at the corners and the hills, there was a little bit, but it was in pre- pretty they, good shape. The road crew keeps on. That was pretty yeah. good. Um, right in front of my house is a hot mess right now yeah. with potholes. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't know why. It's like right in front of my driveway. Huh. Um, very weird. So... Yeah, so that bag showed up today. I just got the delivery notification. Sweet. You love it. A couple bit of yarn that I bought because it was on super sale. Just jumped in my Etsy cart. Did you get your Fuse yarn? Yeah, oh yeah, I got that really fast. A long time ago. That might be the next sweater mm-hmm. after the scrappy along. Nice. I have, yeah, sweater's quantity of DK. I was waiting for this new order to come because it has this really bright vibrant green in it and I was going to see if I could incorporate that with the fuse fiber yarn I got and I might have ordered some clothes off a mod cloth interesting I like their stuff yeah they have some cute stuff and I also like the fact cute that cute retro stuff that can go with your retro along yeah I got a dress and a little like work cardigan and a work shirt and some I gotta show you these shoes. Really? Yeah. Oh my god. And they were, I got it on leap day, so everything was 29% off. Oh, no kidding. That's funny. So I could not buy it. I have the hardest time buying clothes online. I've gotten pretty good at it. I like to buy at places where I can really easily send it back. Well, that's it. Like, oh, those are cute. Those are really cute. For all the fancy stuff that I go to. Yeah. I could probably wear those to court. I was going to say, you could totally wear those With to a court. black dress? Yep. All right. They're super cute. Um, I like the color. Yeah. Anyway. Well, and that's the nice thing. It'll go with so much that you already have. And that just gives, like, gives me, like, my little pop of color. Isn't that cute little Oh, that's your new bag that's coming. I know. From Darn Yarn. I know. You can, like, accessorize with your knitting bag. See, like, look, I'm all, like, coordinated. Everything look matches. That. Nice. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. It was all on sale. It was, like, 30% off. How can you, like, say no to that? I can't. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> uh, I have a thing for shoes. Yeah. Yeah. I apparently have a thing for boots. Because I've got like little anklet booties, I've got like tall field boots, I've got like, you know, in between boots. But they're like really, they're all pretty useful Mm -hmm. ones. I've got waterproof ones. I've got some that are more dressy that aren't as like, you know, useful work type boots. But, and then I wear, I've got like paddock boots. That's what I'm wearing today. And I wear these a lot. As you can see, the toes are worn. Yep. <clears throat> I've got, I think, three pair of paddock boots because when I, so I used to work at a tax store and, um, and I did after I left there and I was, we were getting the store going, um, I did a little bit of work for him afterwards, some marketing stuff, and he was going to, you know, just write me a check and I'm like, how about this? How about you, like throw in Barter. a couple yeah exactly i was like you know give me two pair of those boots at at cost and we'll we'll call it even he said like, great oh, <laughs> of course so it worked out really well nice yeah and in sad news was it last week ollie the camel died i know he wasn't terribly old no either. he wasn't but he had been sick, I guess. Oh, okay. So Ollie the camel is a back train camel. He actually used to live just down the road from where I live. And so anybody going by on Route 7 in Ferrisburg would, would see, see him. him. Hmm. And he, yeah, he Good passed away. Yeah. yeah. Poor Ollie. Yeah. It's very sad. I know. He was sort of a beloved it's like a little he had his own facebook page yeah and inevitably in this particularly in the summer there'd always be like a line of cars stopped um at least the shoulder is wide there yeah taking pictures and yeah looking at the camel yeah it's not very often that you see a camel out in somebody's field, <laughs> field. In Vermont. She, so she raised merino sheep she doesn't anymore mm-hmm. um but yeah 
so he hung out and she collected his fiber. So. Yep. Yep. But I know. Yeah, let's see what else has been going on this week here. It was town meeting day on Tuesday. Mm-hmm. Our town meeting, they have moved it to Saturday. We vote still on we, Tuesday. Uh, that's our actual meeting meetings on Saturday now, yeah. too, which I'm not very happy about. I know. I don't like it. I would prefer it in the week. Um, yep. It's actually much more difficult for me because with the kids. Yeah. Uh, during the week, I got kids in school and I got child care coverage. So. Exactly. I know. I always thought. Um, I know they do it. I know some the of the reason they do it. The theory is that more people, people don't have to take off of work and right. more people will be there. But, but bosses around here are pretty yeah. good. Like, if yeah. you want to participate yep. and. You can get time off. Yeah. And it's, I don't know. I think I don't think we haven't seen any more people come to town meeting since it was moved to Saturday. Um, so anyway, so town meeting day here is our like local election. So it's where like our town budgets are decided, our school budgets, any sort of local municipal uh, personnel elections happen. Um, and it's, you know, we have these, in a lot of small communities, we still have town meeting where certain things you show up and vote for by voice, the yeah. people who show up for the meeting. Um, definitely not any of the big budget stuff anymore. But, no. um, you know, it's usually smaller stuff, yeah. um, different allocations and things like that. Um, so it's this great, you know, local government, hands-on participation component, which is pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, I know a lot of places have kind of gone away yeah. from that. So. Yeah. There's a, you know, old uh, Norma Rockwell painting mm. about it um, with a gentleman standing up to speak at town meeting day. So we still do that here. I know. I like it. I know. It's awesome. And I like that there's still, and there are throughout the country still a lot of community events, you know, like our fire station still has like, you know, the chicken barbecue that they do every mm-hmm. summer and yep. a lot of the, sometimes it's fire department, sometimes it's the churches will do like the pancake breakfast and, you know, because otherwise you don't have. Or the scouts. Yeah, or the scouts. <laughs> yeah, you know. Yeah. So it's kind of fun. Our town actually approved a new town hall slash library building. Oh, no kidding. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's cool. Finally. Oh, We've wow. trying to do that since we moved there. So Where really are they going to put that? Um, they're going to put it up on the ridge, so the mm-hmm. town actually owns a parcel of land right next to the French church. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh. So it's going to go right there. Oh, that's cool. Beautiful view of the yeah. lake pond. Yeah. And, um, yeah. Oh, that's cool. And now we'll It's a, a cute little town. And now we'll have a town hall with potable water. Oh. <laughs> and a library with potable water. Well, that's always a bonus. Won't that be a bonus? <laughs> 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 but yeah, there'll be some community meeting space there That's too, nice. which will yeah. be super nice. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> you know, important things. Good. <laughs> yeah, we don't need that. What? Nobody needs that. Uh, small town or not. Mm-hmm. Yep. Anywho. Uh, I don't know. Should we get rocking and rolling? Should we get rocking and rolling? Yeah. I know this is everybody's favorite portion. <laughs> I know. We're already twenty minutes into intake outtakes. Intake and end takes. End takes. End run and whatever. Beginning end takes. <laughs> Pre-takes. The chit chat portion. The pre post takes. They're all, it's all chit chat. So oh, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Just we actually have show notes for the rest of it. We don't have show notes. For this. It's totally unscripted. It's free form. That's what makes it so much fun. Yeah. So much fun. Yep. <sighs> I can't believe today is Thursday already. Thursday already. I keep thinking today was Wednesday. Well, you'll have a surprise then. <laughs> well, I know. Tomorrow's Friday. 
Surprise! <sighs> it's Pinewood Derby on Saturday. Mm. That's exciting. It is exciting. We have two entries at our house. Nice. Apparently, younger siblings can enter. Oh, that's kind of fun. Car. Yes. Have they been busily working on their cars? Uh, yeah, I think they're both done. I think John mostly did the one for Abigail. It's a banana car. <laughs> I might have offered her some googly eyes for the banana car. Um, we need I, pictures. Yeah, we haven't put the googly eyes on first. This has only been a conversation we've had in the car about mm -hmm. it, um, which That's I'm going to remind her about because I think the banana car needs googly eyes. I agree. Mm -hmm. Yep. That would be hysterical. Yep. And I just happen to have some. It's amazing. Fantastic. Isn't it? Mm -hmm. If I didn't, I would make sure I had some, but I do already have um, so yeah, I need to go rustle those up and give them to her so she can get after the other adult in the house to put them on. And she is tenacious. <laughs> <laughs> we, um, we talked to my parents a lot in the car, like on the way home. Yeah. And she discovered or learned that uh, my parents were looking to buy tickets to come out. So every day now, oh, for like the last gosh. week, she's, Papa. Have you gotten on your computer and bought tickets <laughs> to come visit? Oh my god, that's hysterical. Mm -hmm. She is so funny. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is too cute. Of course, in her world, he's buying tickets and he's coming tomorrow. Yeah, of course. Um, but yeah, no, it's. Oh, that must make your parents smile. I hope so. I'm sure. I know it does. Yeah. That's cute. That's so cute. Anyway. A little munchkin. I know. It's just funny. All right. Shall we get rocking and rolling? Yeah. <laughs>